Brady K. Myers with RWF Rocket Wrestling Federation and UCW Ultimate Championship Wrestling. And you are watching Realistic Fishing. Everybody now! Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I have a few clips of fish I caught over the last few days. The fishing has been really, really tough lately. It's been hot. We've had a little bit of rain, but it's mostly been hot and humid. Every time I go to the lake, it's totally calm. It looks totally dead. The fish aren't biting. And while I'm tempted to get frustrated, I have to remember this is realistic fishing and I'm going to show you what really happens. I'm not fluffing it up to sell you a bunch of stuff you don't need. I'm not trying to sell you any lures, rods, subscriptions, none of that. I'm going fishing. I'm showing you what's happening. Let's start out with the first catch. I was trying out some grubs I got in the mail. fish. Not very big. What is this? Little tiny bass. Aggressive little guy. Huh. Check him out. Not even a quarter pounder. Right? This is a kid's happy meal size. Baby Bass Deluxe. First fish on the grub though. Let's let him go. I'm Slum from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Moving on, the second fish I caught was on a yum dinger. But not just any yum dinger. A bubblegum yellow swirl yum dinger that was sent into the show. I promised to myself I would fish it until I caught something, and I did. Another quarter pounder with cheese. Check it out. We are changing things up in a big way. We're going with a yum dinger here. Bubblegum yellow swirl. Someone was screaming in the comments last time, use the bubblegum swirl. We're going to use it. First, I'm going to fish it on a Texas rig. If I can't get a bite like that, we might try a wacky rig. Let's see if we can get a bite on this crazy thing. Bubblegum swirl, yum dinger. Oh, oh, I had a bite. Dang it, I had a bite and missed him. My worm is all sorts of curled up. I felt that one. First good bite of the night. I actually felt that bite. Let's see if that fish is still around.
Come on. Give me another shot. I'm gonna catch one on this bubblegum yum dinger. Fish. Got him. Wacky rig. Hey, yum dinger. Bubble gum bass right here. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Sweet. Not a lot going on tonight, but I did get one. Just a little quarter pounder here. As the sun goes down, this little bass went for yum dinger, bubblegum swirl. Let's let him go. Wow. And last but not least, I was out there fishing after dark. People were bringing their boats into the boat ramp but I wasn't gonna let it stop me. I fished a baby brush hog across the rocks near the bank after the sun went down and caught one more. Got him this time. Can you see him at all? We got about a, maybe a half pound bass here. Not very big, but I'm happy to get one out here tonight on the baby brush hog. I had one earlier, maybe a little bit larger than this, and he popped off. We got people bringing their boats in. We got other people fishing down there. And I'm happy to be catching something. Can you see the silhouette in the sky? Let's let him go. Hey y'all, this is Chris of Catfish and Chris. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. So there we have it. Three bass over the last couple of days. I'm tempted to get frustrated. I'm tempted to give up, but I won't. There has to be at least one voice of reason out there, and it's me telling you. Don't fret because you're not catching a ton of fish. There are a bunch of channels out there who make fishing look glamorous and they do it on purpose to sell you expensive stuff. You don't need a $400 rod. You don't need a $10 lure. You need skill, tenacity, and willingness to go fishing. And I promise that will greatly improve your chances of catching fish. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I like turtles.